Hello, my name is Robert Musa, and this is the second in a series of talks about interactive touchscreen presentations. Previously, I discussed what an interactive touchscreen presentation was. In this segment, we'll review the touchscreen technologies, the hardware that is currently available, and why some hardware might be more appropriate than others. The menagerie of touchscreen technologies can be bewildering for the uninitiated. So I, I'm not going to get too technical with respect to various technologies out there. I'll just say that uh, some technologies use a thin touch sensitive film that covers the screen. Others use a glass plate which generates a tiny electrical charge when touched. Uh, another touch screen process uses tiny infrared cameras mounted near the corners of the screen. There are even touch screens which uh, measure sound waves or the force of your finger against a plate of glass. Now, each of these technologies has its advantages and disadvantages. For instance, the touch sensitive film type of touch technology will block some of the light, about 20%, coming from the monitor, while the glass overlays block very little light. In determining which type of touch screen is most appropriate, you will need to consider several factors. For most installations, it comes down to location, location, and location, meaning whether the installation is indoors or outdoors. Outdoor touchscreen kiosks are subject to the weather, to vandalism, and may need to recognize the touch of a gloved hand in colder climates. However, most installations are indoors and have more options and a wider range of relatively inexpensive units to choose from, particularly if the unit is to be situated indoors in an attended environment where somebody can keep an eye on it. So let's talk about some of the factors which come into play when choosing touchscreen hardware. First, size. Size counts. The bigger the screen, the bigger the impact, and the more attention the touchscreen unit will draw. Some technologies are simply not available in sizes larger than 60 inches. If you want a 105 inch screen, your choices are going to be limited. User experience. Some technologies require a direct touch while others do not. Many of the optically based technologies will detect a touch when the finger approaches the surface. This can be a disconcerting for some users, especially if you plan on using an on-screen keyboard to collect registration info or to conduct a survey, because it increases the chances that the user will inadvertently press a key. Another thing to consider, useful life. High traffic installations require a more robust technology. Generally speaking, the touch-sensitive film overlays have a shorter life and are more subject to scratching. Uh, unfortunately, on the other hand, this type of technology is usually the least expensive. Speaking of hands, let's talk about gloves. Will your audience be wearing gloves? Some systems do not recognize the touch of a gloved hand. Unfortunately, many of the systems which require a flesh and blood hand also happen to be the systems which are best suited for weatherproofing and vandal resistance. So depending upon your budget, you may find yourself with a trade-off between glove use and vandal resistance or weather resistance. Now, speaking of weather resistance, once again, we mentioned this before, will the installation be indoors or outdoors? Now, not all technologies can be sealed against the weather or withstand wide variations of temperature. Units are available which can withstand a hose down and can withstand desert temperatures. However, oftentimes adding weather resistance can double the price of a touchscreen unit. Sometimes, you can avoid using an outside installation by using a technology known as projected capacitance. This method uses an adhesive film attached to the inside of a window. A digital presentation can then be projected onto the film. The film, even though it's on the inside of the window, can recognize a touch from the outside of the window. So this is an ideal product for after hours streetscape interactive advertising on the windows of a retail establishment. And for large sizes, say up to 116 inches, this technology is ideal. Another issue, vandal resistance. Will the installation be subject to vandalism? Some technologies are easily damaged, while others can be hardened against those jerks who ruin things for the rest of us. Where extreme durability is required, a type of touch technology known as strain gauge offers a possible solution. It's not best in all situations, but strain gauge Touch panels can be constructed from any rigid material and can withstand severe vandalism, including gunshots. So this technology is ideal for use in 7-Eleven stores on the south side of town. Finally, ADA compliance. The Americans with Disability Act requires you to make reasonable efforts to accommodate the disabled. If your touchscreen installation is attended, the attendant is probably a sufficient accommodation. 
If not, you might consider using a technology which is fully ADA compliant. Usually this means technology which can be activated by the touch of a stylus or a gloved hand. Ultimately, when you sit down with your supplier, the two of you will make the determination of which type of touch screen is most appropriate for your application. I hope this talk has illustrated some of the issues and possibilities to consider and discuss with your vendor before choosing the appropriate hardware. Thank you for listening.